Oh, okay, Carol's bag part two. What's in the bag, Carol? I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. <laughs> that could be taken so far out of context. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different <laughs> I'd say I'm have getting different the belt. items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. <laughs> as every man should. Uh, hold on. Should I go to the inn and this might be a good place to wrap things up? Yeah, so it looks like we just go down that way when we want to do that, I guess. But yeah, I I gotta freaking wrap up some other stuffs for the rest of today. Can't let you more get away like- Oh, never mind, we're not wrapping it up here, because this isn't even a place that I can save on the overworld, but like... If we don't have an inn that we can just readily be at, then <laughs> it might just be one of those nights. I don't know. Oh no. What do I do? Where do I go? Where do I wrap things up? Oh no! Freaking, I already know that I'm gonna be heating up stuff that's in the microwave. Or not, I'm gonna be heating stuff up in the microwave. That is probably unbelievably cool by now. What is this area that we are- what? I feel like an easy win. Don't well, get careless. Well, I mean, why are you trying to use an orange gel? Freaking stamp! You want to maybe not? What do you just learn? Destructo spider web? I thought Carol was supposed to like hate insects and stuff. Yeah! Yay! Still really good. It really likes high fiving people, doesn't she? Hold on. On the map at the top right, it just looks like this is a weird, massive dead end. Oh, there's a bridge over there. Never mind. You? Do you mind? Do you mind? This looks easy. Let me at him. Let me at him. Well, smack her. Crushing eagle. <laughs> Don't know why it just threw me off that time around. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and smack a roo, I suppose. That's what we do. You didn't think I was that strong, did you? Look at him with his freaking spiked mace. That's like bigger than his head. My goodness. Oh, I pressed Y to like instinctively use the ring thing. But like, I guess, I guess that changes the map and stuff to like a weird thing. Well. Well. Oh. Oh, I guess this would be like a whole map of the world when it's like that or something. That man called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. <laughs> because he is German. Speaking lost in this day and age. <laughs> what, what German is Are an ancient serious? way of speaking? It would at least make a good story if that were true. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> an ancient language, German. Man, could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy. The heck are you? What the heck are you, huh? Uh, I guess we're probably over leveled for these the bits. Well, I mean, uh, yay! yay. <laughs> we got some crab shells from that, it seems like. So there's, there's that. There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tobikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh, Brave Vesperia, start explaining. Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you? 
I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first, let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go. Well, looks like we have Raven back in the party. So, because we have, like, two physical attackers here anyway, maybe, or up-close attackers, maybe it'd be good to have one more ranged one and we can have Raven in there? I don't know. Something like that? We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> it sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder. It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question, too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Why do humans exist? Because this world is a wacky place where all kinds of crazy, unexpected stuff winds up happening. My answer, Man, but any weaker? I mean, just favorite in battle over. interactions are between <laughs> Judith and I assume that's supposed to say Estelle rather than Elise. Um, whoa, I got, I've been stoned. I was <laughs> thinking about German and being so stoned. Have I, have I told that story during Tales of Aspira before? I know I've told this story on stream several times about the guy where when we were as a class touring around Germany, who uh, was in the one hostel and told us, I'm stoned, and then we freaking started laughing at him, and then he was confused why we were laughing at him. And he goes, he's not funny, like in full English and such. And it was like one of the wackiest things I'd ever seen. Um, that's a short version of that story, just in case I've told it during Tales of Asperia before. I know I've made that, I know I've told it several times during like other, other playthroughs. I don't know if I have during Tales of Asperia. So if I have it during Tales of Asperia, I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell the full story. But like, that's a that's a short version and stuff. Do you know why your phone keeps auto correcting to Elise? My oh my. Well, too much fire emblem. I know we haven't been gone for long, but I have to say it still feels good to be back. Can I give you Pansy some tissues, or can we go to the inn now? I'm so hungry. All right, all right. All right, looks like we're going to the end. I'm so hungry. Same. I'm dying here. So I'm going to wrap up soon. The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too. I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Oh. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Oh. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? None of the characters in this game need to freaking die. <laughs> I would say. Well, um, what have I eaten today anyway? I ate like some toast and a banana. I think that's all I've eaten today, actually. <laughs> uh, funnily enough. I mean, if it's not evident from me, like, being a stick, essentially, I, uh... I don't really eat a lot, like, in general. To the point that a summer ago? Uh, so even like, a union can't sit still when it knows a princess of the Empire is out on the loose. There was a summer, actually, a few years ago, where I ate so little because I was like, why eat when I can just, like, keep working on things and, like, be productive on stuff and yada yada. And I ate so little that I wound up developing an eating disorder where I no longer felt hunger. And then... And I kind of had to, like, guess when I should be, like, eating and not. And then it developed into a thing where it's, like, instead of hunger, I felt, like, insanely sharp pain constantly at, like, the slightest bits of hunger. Man, it freaking sucked. I was, you know, 
slowly recovering from that over the course of probably over a year. Like, things are back to normal now, thank goodness. But there was literally a time in my life where I ate so little that I just stopped feeling hunger and then eventually started feeling pain instead of hunger, and it was... It sucked. So, I mean, I probably still don't eat as often and frequently as I should, but I'm never going to neglect it as much as back then because I do not want to go through that again. That was awful. Then the Dawn knows that I'm a candidate for the Imperial Throne, too. Yep. Sorry, but okay, sidetrack. I'm keeping an eye on you. So you're here to observe her? That's kind of creepy. Really? What? Is it just me? Anyway, here I finally catch up with you, and I wind up sticking my foot in that mess back there. It hasn't been easy for old Raven. But why worry so much about Estelle? It's only natural, considering the state of things between the Empire and the Union. Each side is trying to feel the other out. The Dawn just wants to keep track of their movements. So, you're all planning on looking for this pharaoh by going to the sands of Kogor? Yes. Do you know what sort of place a desert is? Well, it's hot and dry, and they've got a lot of sand there. That's putting it lightly. It's not as easy as all that, though. Our plan is to get to the area together first. And then? Then I guess we'll go around and ask where Pharaoh is. I don't even know where to begin commenting on that plan. So it's not just that you don't want to go back to the castle anymore, right? Um, well... It'd be easier on old Raven if you did, though. I'm just saying. No, I'm sorry, but I have to know the truth behind Pharaoh's words. Huh. Well, the Desier continent actually suits me just fine. Why is that? I've got to go to Nordopolica for another errand I'm running for the Don. Have to deliver a letter to Bellius. Whoa, that's pretty important. That's the boss of the Colosseum and ruler of Nordopolica, isn't it? Technically speaking, he's called the Duce. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know what's written in the letter? Hmm. It's got something to do with those monsters that attacked Dongrist. In particular, about that pharaoh chap you all are following. The Don thinks Bellius will know something about that monster. Looks like it just became worth our while to pay this Bellius a visit, too. Right. So if you don't mind, Raven here will just tag along with you. That's fine, but you'll have to follow the laws of Brave Vesperia. Got it. It's not like I can go join in your guild, you know? You understand. Why can't you join Brave Vesperia? It's against the rules for anybody to be in two guilds at the same time. And I guess, technically speaking, you are a member of Altosk. What do you mean, technically? So are we done? I'm gonna go get some rest then. Okay. What? What do you think Rita's gonna do? Hmm. What indeed? Does this mean we're on our own until we leave tomorrow? Yeah. We'll all meet down at the harbor then. <laughs> Raven earned the old spy title. Okay. Parted with everyone. Oh. Oh, okay. What's the matter, boss? Mmm... I don't know if I like you calling me that. The boss is the boss. What would you have me calling you instead? Just call me... whatever you called me before. This boss thing seems a little over the top. It makes me feel silly to have you calling me that. <laughs> don't you think you'll get used to it? Well, maybe. Well, you know way more about guilds than I do, right? I guess. The boss of a guild has to stand as a role model for everyone else. I wonder if I could be that great of a person. Come on, it's not like you're expected to be the best boss ever from the very beginning. You can take it a little at a time. For now, our guild has a job to complete. You're right. First we need to take Estelle to meet Pharaoh. But do you think we'll be able to meet him? Our guild's job is to figure out a way to meet him. If we can't meet him, we won't get our reward, and people will lose confidence in our abilities. That's all there is to it. I think we may have picked something a little too tough for our first job. It's more of a challenge that way, and our reward will be that much bigger too. Let's make the best of it. Yeah. 
This game is the freaking never-ending cutscenes. I'm sorry. Um, should I go hit the save thing where Bob? Is it gonna be one of those things where I need to like talk to everybody and stuff? Maybe, maybe. But yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that situation happening there. Though, Anima, that does not sound. That does not sound fun at all. But hey, at least it'll. It's not unfixable, right? I said that I will deal with things in my way of doing, but I let Qmore escape that easily. What a shame. I don't know how I could explain this to Flynn. I know, I know. We have Guild's job to deal with rather than Q-more. Yeah, I just can't let him loose. Men of his kind will never learn and will always repeat the same thing forever. I'll have to do something. I left the Empire and formed a guild for this kind of purpose. He will get what he deserves. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I guess probably the good place to wrap things up will be after, you know, the whole next section of the world is opened up and such. Most likely. Anyone down here? Do I just have to, like, explore around all over the darn place? Like, how far could people potentially be? How far could my party nerds be at, I wonder? Can't go on to there, Yuri doesn't know how stairs work. It's fine, I guess. Um, it's locked. Guess I'll just explore around here. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I can't believe we have to travel with you. What, you ain't happy? Well, I'm not exactly jumping for joy. You're too glum. Lighten up. Didn't I stand together with you in the face of evil? That was only because you had to. I still haven't forgotten about what you did at Nor Harbor. You still remember that? Some people just don't know when to give up. I'm not about to make a list of all your offenses. Saying that I'd rather not have your company on our trip is already more than enough. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be on my best behavior. I behaved myself at Cave Mock and Gasparos, didn't I? Yeah, that sure would be nice. What should worry you more is whether or not these old bones will be able to keep up with you youngins for much longer. You plan on sticking with us until Estelle goes back to the castle? The Don ordered me to keep an eye on the girl. I ain't got much choice in the matter. Sounds like a tough job. I wonder if I could hand her over to the Imperial Knights somewhere. I can see it in your eyes, old man. You're thinking bad thoughts again. Nah, not at all. Well, it's really too bad that you're going to be traveling with us, but might as well make the best of it. What do you mean, really too bad? Hmm, ah, uh, whatever. Anyway, Raven the Great is going back to the inn. Later, boy. Well, I guess Raven the Great is going back to the inn, is what it sure sounds like. So, oh, I can't go that way. Freaking rigged. I can't believe I can't go that way. Absolutely rigged. I just want to go that way. There's gotta be somebody down here. Yep, seems like. I'm just incorrigible. Whenever something or someone catches my eye, I forget all about everything else. I really lose sight of everything I was planning on doing beforehand. Yep, that's about right. I came to my senses after Judith told me. Until now, I've been dragging the rest of you around with me like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, it could be worse. If you were Empress, one word from you and the entire Empire would run off to do your bidding. Yeah. Hmm. I kind of feel like coming with you was the right choice. Oh, yeah? I've been able to see all sorts of new things. I still don't know whether I'm going to take the Imperial Throne, but there are still so many things left to learn about in this world. And Pharaoh's one of those things? It scares me to think about it, but... I have to know who I am. I have to know what he meant by saying I was the insipid poison of this world. It sounds like you've made up your mind. Yuri? Hmm? I might end up trying to order you guys around again. Next time I do that, yell at me, would you? <laughs> sure. It's not the sort of personality trait that's easy to fix by yourself. Though there's another guy who's also a tough nut to crack, so I think we'll let him be the one we vent our frustration on. Well, I'm going back to the inn. I'll see you. 
I guess we're basically sending everyone back to the inn. This dude was like, I was worried that he was gonna block her from, you know, me being able to do the dialogue thing, Bob. I swear, I checked this whole area and I didn't see, I didn't see Rita though. So like, unless she's in here somewhere or in like another room. What am I missing here? What am I missing here, huh? Okay, you are in another room. Do you really plan on helping Estelle find that pharaoh whatever? Oh wait, and we also have to find Judith. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't that thing say that Estelle was an insipid poison or something? Yeah, I heard. After something like that, I guess you can't just tell her to forget about the whole thing. But it won't help her if she uses that as an excuse not to deal with the issue of the succession to the throne. Yeah, I'm worried that might happen. What are you talking about? That's what is happening. Yeah, maybe. But... You're saying I should take her back to the castle? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. It was her decision. We have to let her figure out what she should really do. You realize it might come to blows with this pharaoh guy, right? She won't get to figure out anything at all if she dies. She's not gonna die. That's why I'm going with her. Oh, have it your way then. Well, well then. But yeah, I think you can find Judith at the exit of town. Okay, so I'll head out of here and head over that away and see if that is the answer maybe. Over here. Oh, okay. Oh, are you going to look for that Qmor guy by any chance? Nah, just going on a walk. Where were you? Just out for a walk like you. What you said to Estelle earlier hasn't been gnawing at you, has it? What I said earlier? Didn't you say some pretty harsh things to Estelle? Oh, right. Sorry to beat you to the punch like that. What? You didn't beat me to the punch on anything. You were going to tell her the same thing that I did, weren't you? What, you figured it out? You don't have to apologize for something like that. All right. So weren't you going off to look for Qmore after feeling bad about hurting Estelle with what you said? No, I wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? You care for other people's feelings a lot more than you let on, I think. No, not at all. Well, whatever. What about you? Aren't you going out to look for him? I told you already. I'm just going for a walk. Okay, now we have the... You actually being here. As opposed to it being some weird cutscene trigger by going that way. So. Now what? Now do we rest? Maybe? Ready to go? What should we do about Rita? That one has her own matters to attend to. That sounds about right. <laughs> so, first to the harbor and then find a boat? Huh? You mean... Are you coming too? Yeah. Wasn't there something you had to go do? You were going to investigate the air crane, weren't you? It turns out the one at Cave Mock the Commandant asked me to look into has already been researched. I hadn't really made up my mind about which route to take to research the others. So you'll be using us to help with your investigations? Well, there's no guarantee I won't run into trouble like back at Heliord. Anyway, it'll be safer for me this way than going alone. Nice to see your glowing personality hasn't changed. This means we'll be able to travel together again. I'm so happy! Yeah, I, um, you know, it's no big deal. Anyway, we were going to the harbor, right? Ah, to be young again, I tell ya. You got something you want to say? Whoa, down girl. To the harbor then. Reunited with everyone. Okay. I can't take it anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve. Can I eat a gel? No. Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. 
The pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast. Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ugh, what a tyrant. And do we not get anything at the inn? And Guzma, is there another way that like some other characters pronounce the name in this game? Or is that just like, you know, if a player looks at it and reads it out? Okay, so I assume that like Flynn is probably something that we get like later on in the story again or something. I don't know. Um, okay, that's my setup. Okay, yeah, if we're gonna have like another part of the world opened up then that might be a good place to wrap it up there. Does question mark mean side quest or something? What does this mean? Hmm? Probably, I guess. How strange. What's the matter? The Shagatham flowers are only supposed to open during the rainy season, and yet look, they're already in full bloom. That sounds pretty weird. I know, right? I wonder if someone's been coming here and watering the ground or something. Would that just- would just that be enough to make these flowers bloom? Another cause for flowers blooming early could be an imbalance in the air. So you're saying that this place? It's okay. Even if my guess is right, this level of air imbalance can occasionally be found in nature. Plants are simply more sensitive to changes in the surrounding air than humans, and they're reacting to that. We wouldn't want to have what happened in Heliord happening here. What the? Judy. Wah, Luigi! The warehouse's aeroblastias! Can't believe that dragon freak would do this again. I'm gonna go see. What? You're not supposed to know that she's the dragon rider at this point in the story. Why is this side quest available right now if it's. if it assumes that Riedel already knows that Judith is the dragon rider? Huh? Because at this point in the story, she doesn't know. Why would. Why would this side quest be available now if it goes off the assumption that we're at the point in a story that Rita knows Judith's true identity? What the hell? Dragon freak, huh? What's all this commotion about? Huh? It wasn't you? I played the fifth. It was terrible. There was nothing left for me to fix. Sorry for your loss. Ugh, next time I see that freak, I'm gonna punch him into the stratosphere, stupid drag. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I thought she was reacting to Judith being gone there. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's not causing any of you any trouble, is it? I already told you. I'm not going to do anything that would cause any of you harm. Okay, well... I am so hungry! We're seriously gonna starve! Save your energy, Carol. You'll just make yourself hungrier. Sharp stomachs make short graces, Carol. What does that mean? It means hunger can make you rude, and that leads to angry people attacking you with sharp things. I think you're a little off. But whatever, Yuri and Rita seem to be pretty calm despite not having eaten in a while. I'm, I'm used, used to it. it. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, there's a delicious steak right on top of Repeat's back. It's a trap. Don't succumb to temptation. Maybe we should do something about this. Yuri, Yuri, I found a green piece of veggie bread in my bag. I can eat it, right? Right? What the? No, Carol, don't. Seriously, this is getting dangerous. Let's eat something already. That reminds me of a uh, field trip in grade 11, an optional smash class field trip, my the bunch of people in my class took to took to Costa Rica, and uh, everyone was super hungry. And freaking everyone was just like, "Oh, you can go out and just eat like wherever." Then, and a lot of us went to the same burger place, and we all got oh, food poisoning Jenner. there. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. Again, we meet. Hmm. So, what's the, the successor frost? to the imperial throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our treaty of friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. Well, that's a deep subject. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, yes. prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions that Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. 
Had yes. I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... Had I known beforehand, I could have easily just, you know, prevented that all from happening. There's no biggie, really. I'm just really impressive. You didn't know about that thing? Using the power You're of the Force. You're Emperor. I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial Treasure, De Nomos. One must possess the Imperial Treasure, a collector's edition copy of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. But De Nomos <laughs> went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Just because no one's ever becoming Emperor ever again. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on De Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like this? I was just on my way to Heliord. Huh, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. We've got important business over here. It's a beach day. Okay, well, um, yeah, that is a familiar, familiar voice. Uh, something tells me the cutscenes are happening because you're not cooking anything after a while? Oh. <laughs> that could well be it, huh? The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? But then yes. they split into Rishram, Zekrom. Pieces, the last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. The husk I wonder Urim. if you could raise that Blastia. And if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. <laughs> All right, down to the harbor we go, I suppose. And then we make it across the ocean and we get a new part of the world. Maybe? Let me on the, not that ship, maybe the other one? Maybe? Okay. I guess that many? You've gotta be crazy. <laughs> Jesse, James. I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on over there? What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Kaufman, another, another semi-German character i know that we talked to you earlier i made the whole jesse james joke and i probably mentioned that james is my favorite character in the pokemon anime he's so good Add the indigo love his character so much of guilds. yes madam president i really wish he sounded and looked like james isn't that the woman we met at dayton hold <laughs> considering she looks like jesse yeah that's her all right but why do you guys know her also the name of my dogie not because of the pokemon show right we just met her once a while back is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? What if we take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. Oh, okay. Uh... She went this way, I think. Oh, nice spawn in. Uh, yeah. James is such an incredible character, isn't he? Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. <laughs> to capture that brat Pikachu. Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Th that's the term that huh? is used? What? But I thought there was another guild that always the name of a guild, I guess? It seems oh, the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so see you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? 
Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia. That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. Nice speech bubble completely blocking his face. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. Literally. So, do we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? An extra sham wow, absolutely free. If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we used to get there. Picking up, I... <laughs> for anyone who never heard, I'm pretty sure the sham wow guy got sent to prison a while really? back. The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. You figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract, then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. Okay, well, let's, uh... Let's go, I suppose.